Did you know the Vulcan flew just 11 years after the Lancaster's first flight? This is an absolutely huge leap in technology, and to show you just how much, we're going to take a look around the Vulcan and then the Lancaster. The Vulcan was one of the first bombers to feature a delta wing design and had an impressive range, which allowed it to take part in epic missions such as the Black Buck raids on the Falkland Islands in 1982 albeit with some help from a number of Handley Page Victor refuelers. Flying over 8,000 miles from the Ascension Islands, these were the longest bombing raids in history. The Vulcan's four powerful engines produced a distinctive howl that was both awe-inspiring and intimidating. It was part of the iconic V bomber force, which was made up of the Handley Page Victor, Vickers Valiant and the Avro Vulcan. They formed the backbone of Britain's nuclear deterrent during the Cold War. The Vulcan's last flight was in 2015. However, two Lancasters are still in airworthy condition today. One in the UK and operated by the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight and the other in Canada. The Lancaster was designed by Roy Chadwick and was mostly built around Manchester at Chadderton, Trafford and Woodford Aerodrome. They were flight tested at RAF Ringway, which is now Manchester International Airport. Over 7,000 Lancasters were built and it operated alongside two other iconic four-engine heavy British bombers, the Short Stirling and the Handley Page Halifax. 